Still counting down the days to this Thursday for the new Hunger Games film. I had Hunger Games 1 review yesterday and now it's time to catch some fire. The Hunger Games Catching Fire So as you all know in The Hunger Games Catching Fire is a sequel to The Hunger Games and basically what happened in Catching Fire uh, basically the evil corporation are like really really annoyed by Katniss and Peter and they defied the corporate people in the first Hunger Games film and now they're gonna try and like get rid of them but by putting them back in the Hunger Games with previous winners of the Hunger Games and basically lots of different kind of conspiracy behind the scenes sabotage stuff trying to kill Katniss and Peter for basically going screw you Empire <laughs> that's basically the general premise of the film without trying to spoil anything for you in case you haven't seen it so anyway, Catching Fire, I just, just a little bit of background knowledge, I went to watch this one at the cinema because last year when it came out, uh, I watched some games one on DVD uh, so I could watch the second one and the second one I must say is a, is a lot better than the first one, not that the first one was bad, but it was a lot better. There's just lots of improvements, I mean first of all the film is a lot darker and a lot more serious because it, it, it deals with a lot more serious stuff, I mean yeah the first one, yeah she has to go into the Hunger Games and kill people but this one, it's all about the bigger picture stuff, it's all about her fighting the Empire, and all, all, well I say the Empire, the capital, it's all about her fighting the capital and the big evil people who run the place and just basically just act like dicks to everyone and treat everyone like crap. It's it's a lot more emphasis on a lot more of the bigger stuff happening. There's a lot more danger as well. That's what I like. There's a lot more a lot more things happening in this film in terms of if she manages to like win then she is going to be just causing utter revolution because that's what she's starting to do because what she did at the end of the last Hunger Games film she started to become like a symbol of hope for the people of Panem and people are starting to rebel against the capital and I like seeing that, I like seeing how the end of the first one directly ties into this film and how the actual first one is relevant to this film it's really good how they've done that, it's probably because it was in the book so I don't know if that's accurate to the book, tell me but if it is accurate to the book, then fair play to them. That's really good. Now the acting in this film is one up. It's it's really better. Katniss, Jenny Florence is Katniss, awesome as Katniss. Um, lots of diff more emotion coming from Katniss this time because obviously like different personal things happen to her in this film. She's trying to get killed by these people, and she has to go back to the Hunger Games, leave her family again, and really more of an emotional performance for her as well. Josh Hutcherson was really good as Peter as well. Woody Harrelson was even really good as well as um, Hamish. He was like he upped his game a bit. One of the new people in this film was Philip Seymour Hoffman. He was really good as well, and um, I'm looking forward to see what role he plays in the next film. And also Donald Sutherland was also really good, but really, really despisable as the main guy. I mean, you despise him. You're like, oh, you dick bag. I really want Ar Katniss to just fire an arrow right for your face. But you can't deny he's good at the role. He is really good at it. This film also does a really good job at building up. I mean, you don't. It's not like like the first hour where they actually go into the Hunger Games, and I like that because it's building up and building up, and you're like, okay, let's get to the Hunger Games. But you don't mean that in a way where you're bored. I mean, you're like, okay, we're getting to the Hunger Games, get to the Hunger Games, get to the Hunger Games. Then pew pew pew, the killing starts happening. And it's really good build up. I like the build up in this film. So in the end, I had a really good time with Catching Fight. It, it pretty much the improvement on the first Hunger Games in every way. Not that the first one needed improving on; it's just general improvements. It was a lot more intense, a lot more action packed, a lot more exciting, a lot more emotional as well. There's lots of more bigger picture stuff happening. Good story, good villain, good hero, good performances. Really, really intense. I think I've already said that, but whatever. It's just a really good film. It's just how a sequel should be. Next level stuff. I mean, when you have a sequel to a good film, you need to just up the ante in every possible way and Catching Fire does that really well. So therefore I'm going to give The Hunger Games Catching Fire a 9. As always guys thanks for watching the video, I'll put them in the comments what you thought of The Hunger Games Catching Fire and I'd like to check back this Thursday as I'll be bringing you my review of The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. Also check out this Tuesday on my Twitch channel where I shall be live streaming GTA 5 on PS4 because I just, I just can't wait, oh my god. Anyway thanks for watching, comment your thoughts on Hunger Games Catching Fire. If you like this video then if you want to see more then all you have to do is click right here. <laughs>